hello fam how are you doing hope you are doing fine so god wants me to share this great testimony with you on how the devil used my dad again to manipulate me and how he saved me again so god was testing him he failed the test my dad is still manipulative he is worse than before you would think that after sharing how he manipulated me he will get on his knees and pray to god to forgive him no 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 he is worse during the time i lived with him april to july this year he was still insulting my body you are too slim hmm. He's doing it on purpose to provoke me. I ignored him because I know that I am fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Psalm 139 verse 14. Also, another time, he insulted my skin color. He said, I am too fair. I should go out in the sun and be dark. What? <laughs> I can't believe he said that to me. He's so manipulative. And he wants me to feel bad about my skin color. Hmm. God said I should ignore him. He's trying to provoke me. I am fearfully and wonderfully made by him. Advice. Don't listen to what people say about your body. Whether slim or fat. Or your skin color you are fearfully and wonderfully made my dad has not changed still wicked and manipulative these four months of living with him hmm, was hell april to july this year even at night hmm, we'll be doing night vigil he will be shouting and praying in front of my door hmm, to disturb my sleep I pray to God to help me to sleep during his night vigil. Omo, God help me to sleep. I woke up feeling relaxed. If someone is trying to disturb your sleep, make a noise to disturb your sleep, call on to God. He will help you to sleep. Another one, my dad still calls me by my ex fiancé's name. When his friend calls, he will start shouting his name because he has the same name as my ex fiance. You will think that he has changed and learned his lesson. He does not care. He's still trying to hurt my feelings. But thank God, my ex fiance's name does not hurt me like before. In fact, when I hear his name, I pray for him that God should help him to be a better person. Another one, hmm, my dad will be threatening me. Where is your passport? Hmm. God told me not to give him. He wants to seize my passport. Very wicked man. Well, he will be pretending. I want to help you renew it. No, my passport has not yet expired and does not need renewal. That was how God saved me. He wants to seize my passport so I cannot leave this house the second time and expose his evil ways. Hmm. He does not know I serve a living God. God told me not to give him. Another time, he wanted to financially manipulate me again. Hmm. Remember I told you he put his car in my name and told me he would make payments. When he did not make payments, I would make the payment because his car is in my name. Hmm. He was financially manipulating me then. Now, living with him, April to July this year, he said, Tai, let's join our car insurance payment together. It will be cheaper. He wants to manipulate me again. The last time I lived with him, hmm, he joined the car insurance of his car, my mom, my sisters, and mine. And he made me to pay it. <laughs> Once beaten, twice shy. So God said, Ty, don't listen to him. It's a trap again. 
do not combine your insurance with its own it will make you pay for it like this car or like the last insurance God was just saving me while living with him another time I came downstairs to watch TV guess what I could not find the TV remote I searched everywhere I could not find it immediately Holy Spirit said check your parents room so I went upstairs to their room and I was searching then God said look at that corner hmm hmm I saw the TV remote I was so angry and God said to ignore them so I left their room and God said I should not leave their room God said I should take the remote go downstairs and watch TV and when you are done leave the remote downstairs so that your parents will know you know what they did so I obeyed God when, my, when they came home they discovered I found the remote in their room they were so ashamed that I caught them in their act because God told me they never eat the TV remote again guess what my dad started acting scared because I caught him in his manipulative act he did not want me to leave the house because he knew I would expose him so he would deliberately sleep downstairs on Saturday so I don't run out of the house like the last time when he's leaving for work he will turn on my twin sister's room light so as to make me think someone is in that room hmm he was so manipulative and he wants to make sure I don't leave the house the second time also when he's leaving for work he would like he won't turn off both outside lights he will leave it on he will turn off one just to frustrate me he doesn't know that God is smarter than him God is giving me strength the more you provoke me the more God makes me stronger think about it my parents eat the remote in their room so I don't watch TV do you see how the devil is using them the devil tells you to hide the remote from your daughter instead of you ignoring the devil's voice you listen to the devil hmm. it cannot be God leading them it has to be the devil the devil is leading my parents and sisters to be wicked to me instead of them ignoring the voice of the devil they listen the devil speaks I hear the devil's voice mm -hmm. and I hear God's voice but I choose to listen to God's voice the devil will say, Taye, your parents are wicked. Poison their food. So they will die. As, oh, get it behind me, devil. I will not poison my parents' food. This is not a voice from God. This is a voice from the devil. So this is what is happening all over the world. The devil will tell people, go into the mall, into the school, shoot people. Then shoot yourself. <laughs> they will listen to the devil's voice. So are you listening to the devil's voice? Is the devil saying, pay evil for evil? poison your parents no don't do that leave them to god my parents and sisters are manipulating me because they are listening to the devil's voice i believe if the devil says poison ties food my parents will not hesitate they are so wicked guess what if i die at least i i die doing what god was telling me to do I have written this book. I have shared my testimonies. So my blood will be in their hands. So it's important to stop listening to the devil's voice and be a better parent and sister. We continue in the next video.